Hi guys, this is Abby, and I'm going to show you how to make a cool little tinfoil thing. Okay, so um, what you're going to need for the... I'm not really sure what it's called. It's just a tinfoil thing. And you can use it to hold stuff like this. I just shove some rubber bands in there because you can easily just go like this. Pull this to the side and just shove whatever you want in there. Ah, this rubber band doesn't like me because it's so big. Shove it if you want in there. And just kind of push that back like that. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to need for it is um, just... Well, you don't have to, but it's a lot easier to use um, like a balloon to make the shape. So that's what I use. So I'm going to make... One, the green one, I don't really oops, care which one I use. And then you're going to need some tin foil or aluminum foil or whatever. And if you want to get something to put inside it, you can do that. Okay, so. I don't need that much, but if I want to make two. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I rip it, but I'll get all of it off anyway. I rip it all the time for some reason, so I'm just gonna... Oh, you might need scissors, too. I'm just gonna, like, cut this a little bit. Don't gotta be perfect, just gotta have a little thing to put around your balloon. So, these are kind of hard to blow up, so, well, they're not that hard, but, yeah. So, I'll be right back when my balloon is blown up. Okay, so, um, it doesn't really matter how big you want it, just you don't want to, like, pop it. It depends on how much, like, tinfoil you have, how big you want your little holder. So, I'm gonna make mine a little bigger than this, actually. Let's let that go a little bit. I'm just going to do this shape about this size. So then I'm going to tie it. If you don't know how to tie, maybe I can try to show you. So you wrap it on your finger and you go like this. And then you kind of lift this part up that's right there. And shove the end of the balloon through it. Pull. And voila. You got a little... Tied balloon. That works for water balloons too. Okay, then what you do next is you put this in the bottom. Actually, I think this is too small. Actually, I need to get a bigger piece. I'll be right back when I get a bigger piece because I'm going to make it pretty big. Like, so it fits to make some folding spots and stuff. Okay, so I have a big piece. I'm just going to kind of like rip that. Perfect. Just take that now. Now let's see if this works. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put the this and then I'll that like down there. And I might actually cut some of this. I kinda just like push it like that. Oh gosh. I'm just saying that's not supposed to happen. I bloom just I'm going to be right back when I have another balloon. Okay, so I have this balloon. Okay. So I don't know why the other one popped. That's never happened to me before. It's the first time I had been making like five of these. So actually my cat got to this one. Because it looks a little more crumpled. And she was like chewing at it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, catches. If you haven't seen, I have a couple videos with my cat patches in there. So. Now, you're going to want to be, so now I know to tell you to be careful when you're like pushing it around. You don't want to do it that hard. So like I said, um, I might cut some of it just to make it look kind of cool, you know, because like this, I don't like that. 
Actually, I'm just going to rip that just to make it have like a cool little design to it, I guess. There we go. Mm, that's good enough. I can always close it up more when it's done. And then what you want to do is either you can either pop the balloon or take it out. Since I don't need the balloon, I'm going to pop it. And when I pop it, I just leave it in here and just, um, go like this. Just kind of snip the little hole in the end and it just shrinks real quick. So then you got a pop balloon and you just throw it away. So now I have this big open thing. So now what I'm going to do here is just like fold the edges over how I want it to be. Um, so I think I'll be folding these two a little, maybe. And to make it flat a little bit, um, you're going to want to push down on the bottom. I'm trying to do this with one hand, it's not working out very well. Okay, there, that kind of worked. So it can just sit there on the bottom there and fold your edges how you want it. Or just leave it if you want it like that. So, yeah, I'll be right back when I am done doing this. Okay, so I am done. So now I have this little tinfoil thing. I really don't know what to call it. I just kind of squeezed it a little bit and then I got a little case. I'm going to do this. So now it just can sit on. Well, it doesn't sit very well. Just grab it. So it can like just sit here. It's a little wobbly, but. And maybe if you don't do it right, or just. It doesn't matter if it is. Whatever you want. So, and if you want to, you can color one. So I'm going to color the one that had my. The, the bands. Goes up to the side. Um, not too much of it, maybe just a little bit. So I'm going to get these markers. They have a really cool tip to them. You can just use markers of any kind, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I will get all my markers. And yeah. So uh, now I have all my markers, and I'm just going to pick some colors that I like. I'll take blue. I think blue and purple look good together. So blue, purple, pink, the other blue, and a red just to just go with the pink. And well, I'm just, no, I'm gonna take the red out. Okay. So now I'm going to just. if I can let you be able to. Okay, so um, you can just color it like any way you want. So I'm just going to kind of push this out a little bit and just kind of color a little bit. I'm just going to do it randomly. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Just make it the way you want it to be. I think it looks good with this little texture, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have red instead of purple. That may look purple, but that part's pink. And that's because my purple won't work. See? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. See? It's as dry. It's so dry. It's as dry as it can get. It's so weird. I don't know why. But, so this is my little tinfoil sculpture. So, whoops. So I got the light blue there. It kind of looks teal. Got the red. Got the dark blue. Oopsies. And there's the pink. So, yeah, this is my little tinfoil sculpture thing. I hope you liked it. 
So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And please like, comment, nice things. Like what I should do in my other videos. Like what you think I could improve on or something like that. Oops, sorry about the noise. Like the someone's like mowing or something. I don't know. So like I said, please like, comment nice things on like what I should do and stuff. And if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. So... Yeah. Bye, guys.